Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another example where it's important to see the connection to something you should already be familiar with. So here we have the binomial multiplied times a trinomial and you look at that and go, well, that doesn't look familiar at all to anything that I know. But actually, it is exactly the same as this. Notice we have a plus b times the quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared equals a cubed plus b cubed. In other words, you've learned how to factor a cubed plus b cubed into this product. And so you should be able to go back and forth, having it look like this, and notice that looks exactly the same. So instead of having to the first power, we have to the one-third power. Instead of the second power, we have to the two-thirds power. Instead of the first power, we have one-third power. Instead of the second power, we have two-thirds power. So based upon that comparison, and notice all the signs are the same, we simply should be able to say, well, that looks, e that, that looks like it should be equal to this first term cubed. That would be x to the first power plus the second term cubed, which would be 4 to the first power. So in other words, this should be equal to x to the one-third to the third power plus 4 to the one-third to the third power. In other words, this should be x plus 4 as the final answer for that multiplication. And that's simply using the connection that this was exactly the same as that, except instead of have first power, it's one-third power. Instead of second power, we have two-thirds power. So what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply that out and show you that it is indeed equal to x plus 4. So we're going to take the first term and multiply it times each of the terms in the trinomial. And we take the second term and again multiply it times each of the terms in the trinomial and see what we get. So we'll come over here and write the products. So we have x to the one-third times x to the two-thirds. Then we have minus x to the one-third times x to the one-third times 4 to the one-third. Multiply this times the last term plus x to the one-third times 4 to the two-thirds. And we multiply this times this, so we get plus 4 to the one-third times x to the two-thirds. And then this times this gives us minus uh, 4, let's see here, 4 to the one-third times 4 to the one-third times x to the one-third. And finally, this times this gives us plus 4 to the one-third times 4 to the two-thirds power. All right, so I wrote it all out. Now let's go ahead and, con and combine the terms. So we have x to the one-third, x to the two-thirds. We add exponents, that's three-thirds, or x to the first power, minus. Here we have x to the one-third times x to the one-third, that's x to the two-thirds times 4 to the 1 third. I guess I should have put 4 first, but it's a plus here, plus we have uh, 4 to the 2 thirds times x to the 1 third. Here we have plus 4 to the 1 third x to the 2 thirds. And notice that this is the same as this, but with a plus sign and a minus sign. Then here we have minus 4 to the 2 thirds x to the 1 third, and finally plus to the first power. Now the fun part, because notice <clears throat> these two terms are the same. One is minus, one is positive, so they cancel each other out. And notice that this term is equal to that term, and they cancel each other out as well. And so we're left with x to the first power plus 4 to the first power, which is equal to x plus 4. And notice we could have spared all that work if I had simply initially recognized this as being exactly the same as this. That means that this can be written as that. And that is as simple as it can get, as long as you recognize it and are able to apply the rule. That is how it's done.